Okay, I'm unmuted. So welcome everybody. And before we do our welcoming dance, lift me da, I'll tell you for the, the program tonight, it's gonna to be very nice. Uh, Becky and, um, Becky got a job. So Becky is like overwhelmed. So Becky and Marie are gonna take a break. And, uh, but we have, we, we appreciate all they've done and uh, we'll miss them, but they'll be back and they'll dance with us. And, but tonight we have a special guest. We, besides Steve, we have Teresa. Where are you, Teresa? She's yes. there. Do I mispronounce it, Uchik? No. Okay. So anyway, we're gonna start as usual with Lifni Da, and then I'm just gonna do um, a Bulgarian dance from Eve, Easy Lalitsa. All right, so here we go with Lifni Da. Everybody can get up and do Lifni Da, that's why we do it. And Steve is tired of it, but we're doing it anyway. Wait a minute, who said I'm tired of it? I get and do it, I get up and do it every week. But I thought you wanted something else, no? Oh, I thought maybe you did, I'm fine with it. <laughs> But I, I will come up with something in soon. I like it. I like it. Whoops. So everybody, if you're new, please put your video on and say hello during Lichnida. Uh, this is a chance for everybody to say hi. Lower your camera. There you go. Chair. Two bow. Nastrotimei zeri barim 
sick. Okay, and this is, my, I actually learned it from Ivaro Lalitsa, Bulgarian, and here it is. And if uh, any dance that we do that we don't teach, if you would like to, just put it in the chat and we can do it the next week. We're going to introduce, she doesn't need an introduction, Teresa. She is very well known in the folk dance world and we're very happy to have her. Where are you, lady? Are you unmuted? I am unmuted now. Thank I you did. for having me. Oh, we're so glad to have you. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes, yours. All right. Well, I thought we would do a few uh, fun ones that we um, uh, maybe have you done. Can maybe go ahead. You can go ahead and start sharing. You're a co-host, uh, so you could just okay. say yes and steal it from me. All right. I'll ask you, you could say sure. Sure, which I said sure. Okay, so I'm going oh. to let... Oh, you good. shared your screen instead sorry, of your Sorry, sorry. Let me, let me start. Share. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, we're going to see all <laughs> sorry, your people. Uh Advanced. I'm sorry. <clears throat> That's all right. We like to get those nerves going a little bit. I know, right? Yeah, right? So, okay. So now that should be sharing my music. Um, so we're going to start out with Lazar Skohoro, which is from Pirin, Bulgaria. And... Um, my question is whether we need to teach that or not. There's two parts to the dance. I can run over it briefly so that you know what you're doing. Sure, a sure. Zoom teach is deep awesome. A Zoom teach, we can do that. All right, so, uh, here's the music, by the way, how it goes. Nice and slow. So it's a, it's a kind of a walking dance, which the first part you do seven times, 
and the second part you do four times. So here's the first part. seven steps of the first time. So that's what we're going to do. And then four of the second. All right. Oops. Where's the light? All right. fun dance to do. Thank you. Uh, now we are going to do Gorani, which is an Armenian dance taught by Tinika uh, van der Heel. Okay. Gorani, I'm not going to teach it. You can just pretty much follow it.
So that's a beautiful one. Now to change style, we're gonna go into an Italian one. You probably already know, Passo Toro, which is Italian Sardinia, Sardinian Italian. It leads to the left and it's a uh, sort of a, a whole different. Hope you enjoyed that one. Um, now we move into Greece, which is Athelamu. I'm just going to play a little bit for you and then I'll just go over the steps since you may not have uh, learned this one. It's by. Okay, so it's uh, it's a very passionate, very passionate music. So that's Athelamu. So it has uh, basically four uh, steps, very uh, very short sequences. So it's very easy to learn. OK. 
okay, so you start out with, um, sorry, I had to remember it. <laughs> you had to start out with a, uh, a grapevine to the, to the right, with a back grapevine. One, two, three, tap. That's the first step. And then the second step is forward, back, forward, tap. So the first two steps is a back grapevine and then a forward step. So back grapevine, step, forward step, and then side step, and left side step, and then cross over in the front, behind, side, front. Okay, so the sequence of four steps is a back grapevine, starting with the back grapevine. Right behind, right step, forward, right, forward step, right step, left step, cross in front, behind, right, cross in step, front. And then you start immediately into the grapevine at the at the beginning. Okay, is that a good enough review here, or do we need it a little more? We're good. 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 Okay, so let's just go ahead with the music. It's a very, very beautiful dance. You can get in a very nice meditative state with this dance. the name of that? That was Athelamu. Oh wait, uh, there you go. Athelamu right there. Oh, beautiful oh. music. Isn't that beautiful? That's it's just like wonderful. so, yeah. so yeah. moving. Yeah. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. So he's <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so now we have a complicated dance. Do you guys know Bolish Kohoro? 
And how are we doing on time too? I think we still have time. Yeah. Um, why, why don't you go for, you could go five or 10 more minutes. Okay. Um, so we either I'm do a, we can I do it. Nice. Yeah. Oh. So <laughs> no, I was too tired because I just came from golfing. So I'm going to let you have my time. And Steve, right. you could go on in 10 or 10 minutes or so. Okay. Okay. Very good. Well, do you, do you want to do a complicated one? Um, it's, a, it's actually a Steve Katansky dance that I learned from Roberto Bagnoli. So <laughs> you're going to get the Roberto Bagnoli version of the Steve Katansky dance. <laughs> Whatever you want. It's up to you. It's well, if that's okay. All right. Um, yeah. Okay. So it's nice and fast. So it's got two parts to it. One that goes in, you know, into the center and out like a pie, into the center and out like a pie, which is hard to do in my little rug, but you can get the idea. <laughs> okay. And then um, uh, the second step will come to me in a minute. But anyways, we'll start with the first one. Um, and I'll teach it to you. Um, so it's, it's kind of complicated. <laughs> so it's, um, it's right, left, hook, right. Okay, so that's the first part. <laughs> right, left, hook, right. And then you're going to do a step behind, step lift. Okay, so the whole thing, uh, right, left hook right and then kind of turn your body more towards the right step and turn and put your foot behind but you're still going in that inward direction step behind step lift um let's see that's sorry uh, so i just speak up a little bit and left and then it's actually sorry ski jump in the middle so. Teresa, try to speak up a little bit because it's a little hard to hear you, okay? A little hard to hear me? Yeah, okay. unless you could get your mic up. Okay, I'm going to put my mic up maximum. <laughs> okay, great, thanks. I'm going to shout more, okay? So you have right, left, hook, right, step behind, step, and then ski jump to the left. So it's actually a jump, okay? So you have right, left, hook, right, step behind, uh, uh, ski jump, and then it's four out. One, two, three, four, right, hop, left, hop. Okay, so the whole sequence looks like this. Right behind hook, right, left, ski jump. One, two, three, four, right, hop, left, hop. So I come in here to the center of the pie and then come out. And I'm going to do that again, going into the center of the pie again. Right, left, right, left behind, ski jump. One, two, three, four, right, hop, left, hop. Okay, so let's, let's just try that first part with the music so that you can get the sense of it. If I can find the music, here we go. Okay, any questions on the first part? I know it's hard. <laughs> that was a very quick teach. Good. It's okay for now? Okay. Um, the second part, the second part you start out, uh, you're going to go to the right ultimately, but uh, you first start out by going left. All right. So you're going to go that way, but you go right, hop, left, hop. Okay, so you're turning around. So right hop, left hop, one, two, three, one, two, three. Uh, right behind, right. Okay, so let's do that again. Right hop, left hop, one, two, three, one, two, three. Right hop, right. Uh, and, oh, shoot. 
<laughs> Sorry. Oh my gosh. Right and then right, left, and then step together. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Okay? So that when you're doing step together, right, left, one, two, three, one, two, three. So um, when you're going to the right, uh, I'll start from the beginning, from the second step. Right, hop, left, hop, one, two, three, one, two, three, right behind, right, left, left behind, left, hop, hop, right together, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. That's the whole. Do it again. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right hop, left hop, one, two, three, one, two, three, right behind, right, left, two, three, left, two, three, left behind, left, together, together, right, forward, right, two, three, left, two, three. Okay? As I said, it's the Bagnoli version of Steve. I hope it's right, Steve. <laughs> okay. All right. There are many versions of it. It's close enough. It's close enough. Okay. Yeah, this but... is telephone. Somebody else is then going to show it to Steve and, you know, we'll go all the way around the circle. Yeah. And uh, Bagnoli has a lot of little jumpy steps in there, which he, he doesn't do the same ones each time. So I'm not exactly sure what should go where, but like you say. Okay. Should we just do it? Do you guys want to try it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Anybody who knows it, get up and do it. It really requires a longer teach. I've done a longer teach of it a while ago, um, but I don't. I think we've taught a lot tonight already, so we'll just go with it. So four pies, and then.
that was great. Okay. It was great. Great. Love that music. I love that music. It's yeah. a good music. Yep. Okay. So how about I'll do one Israeli dance so we do something a little different, uh, easy one uh, that people know, and then we'll go on to Steve. That sound good? Yep, great. Thanks. Run, but okay, Don't that's all right. Wait, what did you, oh, you had one. Dean, mom, why don't you go ahead and do it right now? Yeah, that's all right. There's none, no, go ahead. You no, there's time, it. I'd rather you do it. I was just gonna tip, but Thanks. You, you, you're on. Teresa, thank you so much. It was great, really great. great. All, let's great. get some feedback. Yay. Thank you. I was just going to do an Atanas dance. Um, by Wednesday night, or sort of know it, I guess. Hey, and, go ahead and do it. Go ahead. I, I'd rather uh, not. Sko, 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 sigan, sko. Listen, maybe I won't get through the whole thing. It'll take shorter. All right. Time. Oh, you got to share your music. Share music, please. Okay, okay, okay. Shoot. Oh. Bang. Okay. 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 Go. Trying to chat. Sorry about that. My fault. Technical error. Okay. Steve. Or oh, Deep De De will announce you. That's right. Go ahead. You got it. 
You're both on. <laughs> okay, Steve, you got enough time? Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I feel like you guys don't need me. You guys have so many great teachers here. You know, I don't want to be taking up everybody else's time all the time. I'm, I'm happy to come here, but I feel like you know, I'm, I'm hogging all the time. And we I'm love it. And you make it the experience. We love it, and you make it easy for us. <laughs> well, I'm happy. I'm grateful to be able to show up here. How, hello, everybody. I hope you all didn't get as much snow as we did, but. <laughs> yeah, a lot of snow. So, Deke, you're still sharing your computer sound. I'll have. Oh, I got it. I didn't make you host. Sorry, my fault. No problem. Find you on this. Oh, uh, where did Steve go? Did I? Oh, I can do it right here. I think. There. All right, I stop sharing. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna share my sound now. And um, great. So I, <laughs> as always, I have this ambitious program, and I know that. By now, we've uh, those that come regularly are probably wondering, God, what are we going to do with all these dances? We're going to, when this is all over and we've all been vaccinated, if that's what you do, I don't know if everyone does that, but we're going to have to get together and just have a weekend of, of, right. of in person doing all these dances. I mean, I, I, I love this. I mean, I, I came up, I actually got invited to do something on Saturday and I was debating whether I wanted to do it or not. Saturday night. I mean, there is a review. By the way, if anyone's interested, tomorrow night there's a four week series on Thursdays with EEFC. I can't find the information, but you'd have to sign up with them, and I'll be doing, uh, I'll be doing the four weeks from 8 p.m. Uh, your 7 p.m. Central, 8 p.m. Um, Eastern, 5 p.m. Western. I'll be doing. Um, Balkan dances that uh, as they're, well, a lot of them as they're usually being done by people in the Balkans. And I, I try to uh, stick in certain areas. I, I'm probably gonna continue with Macedonia and Albania, little Bulgaria, and I may go up into Hungary. I'm not sure, we'll see, see who shows up. But anyway, that being said, let's see. From last week, I'd like to go over a few of those dances. Um, since, uh, Deet just did that beautiful uh, Atenas dance. Let's go over the Kosovsko Gilansko uh, uh, Tikno Oro, or Kosovsko Gilansko is enough. Uh, Oro, or Gilanka, as it's sometimes called. It's in 1216, and it's broken down as long or slow, quick, 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 slow, slow, quick, 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 slow. Three, two, 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 three. And as I mentioned the last two weeks, the melody comes in on count two. So it's a little confusing, but it's a Kirstano or crossing style dance. And I wanted to add one last uh, variation for you tonight. So the basic is lift, lift, step, cross, step, lift, lift, step, cross, step, lift, lift, step, cross, step. And the last one then is lift, lift, step, Back, cross, sort of a Yemeni. And then we're ready to travel. Let's do that again. Lift, lift, step, one, two. Slow, quick, 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 slow. Slow, quick, 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 slow. Slow, quick, 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 slow. And then the travel step. Slow, quick, 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 slow. I'm sorry, slow. Continuing, left, lift, step, cross, step. Lift. So when you actually, <clears throat> after starting it, you'll find your cross comes at the end of the travel step to the left. Lift, lift, step, step, step. Cross, lift, step, cross, step. And now we do two of these in place. And with the third one, we cross behind. And then we travel. Cross, lift, step, cross, step. Cross, so lift. Lift, lift, crossing behind here, travel, cross. So technically what you're doing is, you're kind of doing four of the lift, lift, step, one, two, uh, lift, lift, step, 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 lift, lift, step, step, step. And then that transition step is a cross, lift, step, step, step. So let's do that. Um, and then we had uh, variations. Let's do one more time the basic with the travel first. 
lift, lift, step, cross, step. Cross, lift, step, cross, step. Lift, lift, step, cross, step. Lift, lift, step, cross, step. Lift, lift, step, back, step. The first thing we did then after the cross was a touch. Lift, lift, step, step, step. Cross, lift, step, front, back. Touch, lift, step, cross, step. Touch, lift, step, cross, step. Touch, lift, step, cross, behind. And you can do a touch here. Touch, lift, step, one, two. Touch, step, step, front, back. We did a kerplunk. Instead of the lift, we did let me pick it up from the basic. Lift, lift, step, cross, step, cross, lift, step here. Left, right, lift, step, one, two, right, left, lift, step, one, two, left, right, lift, step, one, two, right, left, one, two, three, four. I forgot to do my lift there. Right, left, lift, step, one, two, left, right, step, step, cross, step. And then we can do a kerplunk after the lift, lift, step, let me do it from the travel. Lift, lift, step, cross, step, cross, lift, step, one, two, lift, kerplunk, lift, one, I'm sorry, back, step, lift, kerplunk, step, cross, step, lift, kerplunk, step, cross, step, lift, kerplunk, step, back, step, lift, kerplunk, step, 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 kerplunk, step, step, cross step, lift, kerplunk. Those are all the way you can play with it. Let's put the music on, have some fun. We've been doing this a couple of weeks now. Make sure it's loud enough, Bob. A little louder? Uh, uh, yeah, I think so. Well, let me hear the music, the melody.
Is that making sense to people? Yeah. yeah. It makes sense. Very nice. Good. It's a tradition. It's, it's a real dance. It's a newer dance, or I should say, it's an old dance that um, maybe about seven, eight years ago became very popular in the Roma community. Now, did and you teach us a new step? Tonight I did. I did. I, well, maybe I did it last week. I did the little. I did the little kerplunk. Yeah. The kerplunk after the lift. It can be Kerplunk done before, before the lift yeah. or after the lift. It, which is wonderful. Excuse it's me. Really yeah. wonderful. And then you you play with it. You make it yours. You write your own little uh, uh, step poem. <laughs> okay. I think we'll let it sit there for a bit. Let's do. Um, that was a request, by the way, that somebody asked that I do that here a long time ago. Somebody, I'm not even sure who, somebody sent me an email. Last week we did a dance, Hangul de la Goteshti, that I told you I put together from traditional steps from, I like this music from, uh, from again, the south, uh, southern part of Moldova. Let me just go over the steps. Hangul means, uh, it refers to a hora with syncopated stamps. And I'm gonna add one little part in here tonight from last week. I gave you the basic form last week, but I'll show you a place where we can do a few of those little stamps. So the basic was simple enough. The hora to the middle with the left foot, out with the right foot, double to the left. We repeat that. In, out, to the left, and then we have that little interlude with the stamp, which is step, stamp, lift, stamp, lift, and stamp. Step, stamp, lift, stamp, da, da. One and two and three and four. So you do a little lift after that second one. Step, stamp, lift, stamp, lift, right, stamp. Four of these. Yeah, and then we have the next part of this hangul, which goes to the left, left, right, one, two, three, right, left, right, left, one, two, three, again. <coughs> but the second time we only have one of these essentially with the music, but we continue with one, two, three, one, two, three. And you want to set yourself up so that you're facing right of center. So you have left, right, left, right, left, right, grape, vine, step, left, right, left, front, back, one, two, three. And that repeats. Pas de basque, pas de basque, grape, vine, step, one, two, three, front, back, one, two, three. We can do that five times or we can actually have some fun. And the third through the fifth time, we can add this little stamp. Step, stamp, step, stamp, step, stamp, step, stamp. Great, line, step. One, two, three. Front, back, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Double step. One, two, one, two, three. You could even do it at the end. One, two, one, and two, one, two. Great, vine, step. One, two, three. Right, left, right, left, the left. Right, one, two. So slowly, instead of one, two, three, one, two, three, the first two times we'll do one, two, three. Add the tapping. Step, tap, step, step, tap, step. Great. Fine step, front two, three, one, two, right and right, left, right, great, vine step, one, two, three, one, two, right, left, one, two, three, front, back, one and two, one, two, Great, fine, step, one, two, three, front, back, and then from the beginning, one. That's the dance. 
Hangul, Hangul, H A N G U L, De La Go Pashti. And that S has a little Turkish or a little apostrophe under it. And it's from Moldova. Here we go. Let's try it. Okay, we can do that. Uh, so. How did that work out? Really fun. No, yeah. I, it's, it's a, I like it. It's an older fun music, fun steps. And, easy, and, to, easy to remember. And it's, it's traditional. And I like the news. I put the stamps in tonight that I didn't have there last week. They're part of it. And I just figured, you know, we'd build on it. So. Right. Really nice. So that was Hangul de la Gotesti. By the way, I put these all on a playlist. I'll send them to you uh, this week. Sorry, I haven't gotten them back to you. So listen, before you told me you wanted to do Veli Cocolo, which we will do, let me get you while I'm fresh and you're fresh, I hope. Many, many years ago, I was, um, <laughs> I got to give you the, the one minute story about this, even though I could talk a long time. Um, Jesse was in high school and he had to do a senior project. He wanted to build a motorcycle and we didn't want to have anything to do with that. So, you know, he, we said, go for it, but you're going to have to pay for it. And one of his teachers, who's a lovely woman, she's a Greek Sufi Muslim. She suggested maybe he did, should do something he might use in the future. And he said, well, I would like to learn to play the oud. So I asked some people I knew, I asked uh, some well-known professional musicians, 
And they told me, go see Ara. He's the best. Ara, Ara. I said, who's Ara? And they said, Ara Dinkian or Dinkian. And he uh, lives in New Jersey. And I called him up and I, being the good dad that I was, I made the connection. And Ara said, I don't know. I don't like to teach, but bring him over. And they fell in love with each other. They just loved him. And for a while, Jesse was just like, I mean, he learned so much from Ara. He's had a few teachers that he's really learned a lot from. And Ara was the, had, made, had a group called Night Ark. And they were sort of a uh, Middle Eastern fusion band, mixed Armenians and other people. And there's a wonderful story about the song that I picked. And I made a dance to it. And I checked with Ara. I said, Ara, can I use this music to make a dance? And he said he would be honored. And I asked him a little bit about this music. He called it Homecoming. And Homecoming, and like so many songs that Ara does, he, he writes these songs and the rest of the world wants to record them and do things with them. So long story short, uh, this is based on some Anatolian uh, melodies and, and, um, and melodic structures, he told me. And he wrote the song for a, a girlfriend who was, had moved out to California and he was living in New Jersey and they decided to try to put it together and she came back and he wrote this song for her called Homecoming. And he wanted to record it, but the people said, oh, we're not really interested in any folky stuff, but we have another two hours of, of studio time paid for. Go ahead. And he recorded two pieces, Homecoming and Picture, and they became his all time best top um, recordings to the point where a Greek woman, Aravanataki uh, uh, is her last name, Elefteri Aravanataki, she sang it at the end of the Greek Olympics using his music, she calls the song Dinata, but I'm gonna use his original Ara. So I taught this out in California and somebody invited me to teach it Saturday night and I hadn't done it for 20 years or more. And you think I could remember, it's a choreography based on, you know, you'll see what it's based on. But I looked at my notes and I read, read it and I said, oh, this is fun, let's do it tonight. You guys will be my guinea pigs. But the funny thing is I taught this and after I taught it, I think it was, uh, um, who was it? It was Ronnie or somebody said, maybe Murray uh, Spiegel or, or his wife, Ronnie. And they, she said, I think that Moshe did a dance to this. And I said, though, but did he get permission from Ara? And he said, no. And I said, how's it go? And they said, I can't remember it. So if you know Moshe's version, you know, Joni probably knows it, maybe Bob knows it, but I'm gonna do my version of Ara that I created to this music. And I just feel like enjoying it. So indulge me for 10 minutes and learn this with me. It's fun. The music you, is beautiful. Is that A-R-R-A? A-R-A. And sometimes I call it Dinata, D-I-N-A-T-A. -I -A. I I'm gonna bring a new music next week, but let's do it to the original one. So it has kind of a guide a beginning. We're going to go, first step, we'll do this twice. Right, left, slow, quick, quick, slow, hop, hop, step, and lift. Let's try that again. Simple enough. Two walking steps, right, left, slow, quick, quick, step, hop, hop, forward, in, and then backing up. Left, right, yeah, meh, night, cross, Hop, hop, step, lift. That's the first step. Start from the beginning. Right, left, slow, quick, quick, slow. Hop, hop, step, lift, left, right, left to the side, cross. Hop, hop, step, again. One, two, slow, quick, quick, step. Hop, hop, middle, and lift, left, Right, yeah, midnight cross, hop, hop, step, lift. How's that, good? Second step, step. We're going to start like a sirto. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick. And now we do a double grapevine, side behind front, side behind front. <clears throat> Try that with me. Slow. Quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. Repeat the first part, slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, yeah. Midnight, yeah, 
Man night. One, two, grapevine. One and two and one, two. Great, no grapevine. Yemenite. Yemenite. One, two. Grapevine. One, two, three, four. Side. Yemenite. And the last part to the middle. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. Man, night, front, turn. So that last part, we go into the middle. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Slow, quick, quick. Yeah. Man, night. Not complete one. Step left forward. In, turn, step. We go out now. So you're going out away from the center of the circle. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, yeah. Meh, night, front, turn, step. <clears throat> I think we do that only in and out. And then we begin again. Let's just do the ending again. <clears throat> and slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, turn, right, Left, slow, ready to walk, 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 slow, quick, quick, step, bouncing in, touch, back to Yemenite, slow, bounce, step, lift, walk, walk, slow, quick, quick, hop, in, one, two, Yemenite, hop, Sit tall, slow, grapevine, one, two, three, four, sit tall, Yemenite, sit tall, oh. grapevine, sit tall, Yemenite, to the middle, right, left, right, left, Right, left, Yemenite, step, turn. Right, left, Yemenite, step, turn, walk. That's the dance, Ara. Shall we try it? Yeah. It's a little jazzy piece of music, I love it. I couldn't get, the, get it out of my head when I first heard it. I'm gonna make sure I have it loud enough. And Ada's playing the jumbush and the oud on this. Here we go, Ada.
Okay, thanks for indulging me. That was really fun. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's lively. You could just see doing that in a room full of people. It just yeah, it moves and. Jason, do you have an oud to show people what it is? Because not everybody might know what it is. I think he has, but doesn't he? Everyone knows what an oud is. Okay. Yep. All right. We'll keep going. Okay. Now there was a request from Deet and Bob that I do. Well, there we go. Jason has it here. I'll add him. Just okay. uh, add a spotlight. There you go. I'm going to get well, play a, play a, a scrum. A, a, a... <coughs> uh, mine's an electric oud. Oh. So it's got a, a little bit of a different sound. Now, now this has to be short because we've learned, right, John? <laughs> okay, just show play something real quick, real fast. All right, we should dance to that. I was actually playing a jumbush on the <coughs> a wrong pipe. Oh, thank you, thank you. Yeah, if you had a program plan, go ahead with it. Yes, we're good. Oh, no, uh, gonna, no, I'm Steve's gonna, going. I, I was just letting people see what an oud is. I got time, I got to, how much oh, time no, that's fine. I, got, I got a half hour still, right? Yes, oh, you yeah. do. All right. We've already we done, and we've already done some minutes. difficult ones. So now, uh, let's. 40 you're, minutes. 40 minutes. You're, well, no, I want to leave some time for, for the oh. last one. I'd like to go over, I'd like today to do two and a half steps of Veliko. And then I hope over the next bunch of weeks, <clears throat> I can cover all of the steps that Dick Crum notated, not all the steps he does. But all the yeah. ones notated and some of the really, really refined ones. But I want you to get the basic first. And the basic is, is somewhat, um, <clears throat> is very typical. That's the way a lot of people dance. <clears throat> but it doesn't get as technically involved. So let's look at this dance. Because basically in its structure, it's a simple dance. Velico colo, the, the, uh, the large colo or... As, as, as John Filsich likes to call it, it's tremendous. And the other thing that John said that's really nice is that um, it, it's all in the bounce. Or he said one time, it's the bounce that counts. And I love that, that, that thing. And it's a wonderful uh, old time uh, colo. Probably came to this country at the turn of the, of the 19th to 20th century. So in the early um, part of the century, Dick learned, Dick Crum first learned it from members of the Banat Tamborizo Orchestra in, uh, I don't know if it was in Pittsburgh or in, in, in uh, New Jersey. They were maybe in Elizabeth, New Jersey. But this dance, was played, this dance was played by all of the different um, Tamborizo orchestras. This particular recording that I'll use tonight is, was, was uh, both John's and Dick's favorite. And it was recorded by Michael Herman at um, Folk Dance House back in the probably on a 78 back in the 50s. These guys came over from what today is the Banat region, which was, they were from a town called San Petru Mare or Sveti Petar. They were Serbs, Serbian speakers, but this dance is still being danced in Southern Hungary and a few villages in actually even in Northeastern for, um, Vojvodina, Serbia. So it's a marvelous dance. Uh, it's a traditional dance. It's one that lived longer in, in outside of Serbia than it did in Serbia, or it's living still. So, basic step. We're going to go left, right, step, touch, step, touch. That's the first part, first three measures. Step, 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 touch, step, touch. Simple enough, we know that dance. It's moving to the left though, which is kind of curious for a Serbian dance. One more time, left, right, left, touch, right, touch. Now we're going to do a syncopated step back. Lift step, lift step, step, one, two, three. So we're having a lift on the right. Lift left, lift right, left, one, two, three. Let's put that whole thing together because that's the essential structure or the backbone of the dance. 
left, right, left, touch, right, touch, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three, left, right, left, right, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three, left, right, left, right, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three, left, and those lifts are actually bounces, bounce lift, ba, da, da, di, di, da, up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three, so Dick does describe that as up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three. And um, yeah, let's put some music on and see if we can do that basic. Is that enough or do we need more practice? Good. It's, yeah, it's not just that syncopation is a little challenging, but once you get it, it's great. <laughs> Questions about that part. Can you count it? Can you count out the basic? I could count it, but <clears throat> I, don't, I don't know that that's going to help without. Okay, I'll, like count that. For you. I'll count it for you. So you have <clears throat> one, two, one, and two. Two, three, four, five, six. Those are pretty straight. Six straight counts. <clears throat> I'm going to keep counting and you'll see what happens with the foot though. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, da, da, di, di, da. One and two. So you're doing 
one and two and three and four and five and six. That would be a simplified version, but it's even more simplified. Five so the second part is one and two and three and four and five, six. <clears throat> so Let's see. I mean, I, I think if you do the, the dig crumb, one, two, three, four, five, six, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, yeah, it's I much easier. <laughs> so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three. Does that help? Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three. So in order to really break down the variations, you have to understand the parts, the six measures, because the variations for tonight will happen um, actually during one and three. So do you, do you mind? Do you mind doing it one more time fast and counting it fast? at the tempo of the so one two three four five six up down up down down one two three one two three four five six seven up ba, da, da, one two three one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six up down up down down one two three <coughs> now thank no you that that helped a lot Thank you. Notice the little one, two, three at the end on the sixth measure. That's going to inform the first measure. We're going to take that little one, two, three, and for tonight, we'll make it a little delayed step, as sometimes <laughs> John Filsich calls it the lame duck step. What is that? It's a hop step, 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 close, step, close. Just a little hop step step. So instead of walk, walk, or run, run, we do a bounce step step. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, up, down, up, down, down, one, two, three. One, two. Notice it's a opening and then a double bounce. Ya, da, da, step. Close, step, close, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three. Bounce, bounce, step. Up, 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 step, close, step, close, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three. Bounce. So you do a little double bounce there or a hop. It's almost like a hop, step, step. Hop, step, step, but in your shoes. <clears throat> Dick Crum talked a lot about dancing in your shoes. So that's the first little variation. The second thing I want to show is something John Filsich does a lot and I really like. He goes forward on the third count. Dick often did it just side, side, but sometimes he played with it going forward. What do I mean by that on count three or on five and six? One, two, three, four, five, six, lift, step, lift, step, step, one, two, three. One, two, three, in, hop, ba. And it can even have a little accent there. Ho, oh, ba. One, two, three, four, forward. And that gives you the beginning of the real step. I think for tonight, these are the three steps I want to play with. And I'll try to keep, I'll try to build up on it. The first one I'll do is the basic. Then I'll add the little bouncing steps still to the side. And then at the end, we'll do that bounce with the step forward or the basic with the step forward. Now, now Steve, that in step, when you're holding shoulders, I assume it's more of a little in because you can't jump in if the other two people next to you aren't right? Well, that's one of the reasons Dick used to say this, and John is very particular about who he lets dance next to him. <laughs> it's, a dance, it's a dance that they, 
They really say in the community, don't even try it if you have if you don't know it, and be careful who you dance next to. I mean, it's a, it's one of those. Uh, it's so the steps are very subtle, and um, it's almost uh, it's almost. I mean, it's I'm kind of defeating the purpose trying to do it on Zoom, but hey, let's go for it. Oh no, no, it's a great opportunity, <laughs> Steve. I will say this was one of my favorite dances until right. you showed until you showed the movies, and then it probably became maybe my favorite dance. I can't well, believe I'm, the steps that they were doing that I want to learn. Yeah, I'll show the, you the more movies. Hungarian type steps were yeah. really cool. I'll send you those movies and we can look at them one night. Let's try yeah, it. Again. It was incredible. So to be continued, to be continued with lots of fun little things, practice those this week. Let's do the Gai Dash Kokolo. That was the slow dance from the Bunyavats region from Shantovo, right on the border in, in Tavankut. Very simple dance. The only step that's difficult is the last step because you're doing always slow, slow, quick, slow. So we start to the right. One, two, one, two, three. To the left. We can also cross in front doing a pas de basque. We can rock, 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 cross behind, rock, rock. Those are the first three variations. Now using the slow, slow, quick, quick, slow, we're going to dance only to the left and alternate opening, closing. So we have close, open, close, open, close. 
open, close, open, close, open, close, open, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. Slow, slow, quick, quick, slow. We'll do that to the end of the music. Gaidashko Kolo from Shantovo and Tavankut. Bagpipers dance. Very slow and people are close to each other. Yeah, it's fun. I mean, it's it, it needs to have a crowd though. It needs a close crowd, and and uh, I'll bring that back tomorrow uh, next week. I'll have a I have some other musics. I just can't get to them that easily right now. Where's Guy Dashko from, Steve? Guy Dashko. Guy Dashko is oh, Guy Dashko. Guy Dashko. It's a Bunyavats dance. So Bunyavats. it's from okay. this particular steps are from two two villages. One's called. Uh, Shantovo, that's the Hungarian side of the border, and the Vojvodina, Serbian side of the border, is Tavankut, T-A-V-A-N, and Tavankut is a really well-known uh, village uh, for Bunyevci, and they are great dancers, amazing dancers. I wanted to do one more of their dances, but I won't do it here tonight. We'll do it next week. Hey, I have something that, uh, I don't know if you like it or not. Is hey, it? Yes. What's the formation and handhold for that? That would be um, either a closed or open circle. And very often, if the men are dancing together, they have a shoulder hold. If they're dancing with women, it's interesting. They generally will join hands in front of the women's waists, and the women will put their hands on the men's nearest shoulder. If women are dancing together, they'll often just interlock, you know, that sort of strolling thing. So you can see in one circle, you can see, or, or a half circle, you can see all kinds of different holds going on. But it's generally fairly close to each other. Okay, um, let me get back to my regularly scheduled program. I had a dance I wanted to introduce tonight because it's going to take, it's a little tricky, but it, it, it's really cool. And it's very, very popular right now in Bulgaria. And it's called... Makam Lisko Horo. Makam is, uh, are these Turkish uh, um, musical scales and whatever. And so Makam Lisko, they tend to write it with L-I-I-S-K-O Horo. And the first version of this record was played by the Trakisko Troika. Way back probably, I mean, it was recorded maybe in the 60s, early 70s. But it's become very popular now and um, it's a 
four part dance, but you got to think fast. And I just before uh, I got on tonight, I found a slower music that I really liked for this. And I want to see if it works. So you guys are my guinea pigs. And um, you're just going to have to give me 10 minutes of your undivided attention. I mean, yeah. be, because it, it, it's, it's not that difficult, but it's tricky. And what it ends up being, and then what's fast, I have, I could talk for hours on this. What's fascinating to me is that these young people are rediscovering these um, old pieces of music that I was listening to in the 70s with Bito Guli and people in LA and all this uh, Beatles, these traditional instruments. And this, uh, this is a kind of an interesting dance. Uh, I, I, I don't know, it, it looks like to me, it's just a mixture of some Traquisco uh, Bravo variations, but it's just one sequence. So try it, because I want to learn it with you. First eight counts. The first eight counts are right, left, kerplunk, step, kerplunk, step, flick, step. So two running steps. We have run, run, right, left, right, left, right, left, click, face center. Right, left, right, left. Left, right, click, step. Now, we're going to do heel, fall. <clears throat> heel, fall, right, left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's look at that slowly from the beginning. That's half the dance. The second part's the hardest. One, two, right, left. Left, right, click, step, heel, fall, right, left. And now we're going to jump on the right foot and cut, cut, cut behind. And you look over your left shoulder. Let's just take that part. Heel, fall, right, left, cut, cut, cut behind. <clears throat> Again, slowly. Heel, fall, right, Left, cut, cut, cut behind. From the beginning. And right, left, kerplunk, kerplunk, click. Heel, fall, right, left, one, two, three, four. How are we doing? You tired? Yes. Okay. Got it, got it. I want to I I plant the seed tonight. Again. Then we'll learn the second half. A little faster. Five, six, here we go. Right, left, kerplunk, kerplunk, click. Heel, fall, right, left, kick, 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 fall. Now we're going to go to the center. One, two, I'm sorry, right, left. In, right, left, cross, and click, jump. Again. One, two, I'm sorry, we're going to go in. Two. Two. One, two, one, two, boom, ba, right, left. Coming back. Let's count that eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, right, left. Seven, eight. Let's take that slowly from the beginning. One, two, kerplunk, kerplunk, click, step, heel, fall, right, left, jump, 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 hook. One, two, cross, and click, jump, right, left. And then we have the end. But let's do that again. And right, left, kerplunk, Kerplunk, click, step, heel, fall, right, left, jump, two, three, fall, right, left, cross, and close, jump, one, two, and the end. We jump on the right foot, we have the left foot out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are some variations on that, but let's keep it simple. Heel, step, heel, step, cross, and lift, step. That's the ending. 
Heel, heel, cross and lift. Let's take the third and fourth. Right, left, cross and click, jump, one, two, jump, step, heel, step, one, two, lift, step. So you have to go right into that jump step. One, two, three, four, five, six, jumping back, jump, step, heel, step, one, two, lift, back. That's the whole dance. Can you remember it? Let's try it a couple times slowly. It'll be a little shaky tonight for me too. And right, left, kerplunk, kerplunk, click, step, heel, front, one, two, one, two, three, four. Right, left, cross, and click, jump, right, here it comes. One, two, three, four, five, six, ready to start. One, two, kerplunk, kerplunk, cross, heel, step, up, my bad. Heel, step, one, two, right, left, right, left, one, two, cross, step, close, jump, here it comes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Are there any questions? I'm sure there are a ton of them. Let's see what happens if we try it with music. Just fight through it. Be ready to fight through it because it's, it's a lot of fun when it works and it does work. And I love this music.
still dance, and that's a nice slow recording. Because the other recordings are about twice that speed, but <sighs> I like dancing it to that. And the piece of music is just gorgeous. Let it rest a little. Uh, Deep. We have time before the less note for one dance of your choice. Oh, my choice. Yeah, what would you like? And people stay on. We have live music for the less note, though. Well, you know me. I love horror. <laughs> oh, we haven't done that for a while. Let's do it. I would like to do that. Thank you. I love it. Let's do yeah, that. Here we go. Everybody up. jumps into that we don't get our little silent moment i gotta move that one out of out of that place it was the first time i didn't screw it up <laughs> I, I did at the end <laughs> one of us has to screw it up <laughs> but you guys were doing it as a duet for a little while <laughs> okay uh thank you guys for indulging me tonight with some dances that oh thank you try out and stuff and i'm really um I love that Makam Lisko. I want to get that one going. I really like that music too. Anyway, I know not everything I do is for everyone, but I thank you for for your patience and perseverance. Pleasure. Oh, I think we want to get everybody up, and uh, we've got a question for you. Sure. Are we okay? uh, Can you make your did... microphone louder? Oh, I'm going to get off here. Oh, okay. 
Steve, I have a question for you if you oh, have a second. Right. Sure. Um, you never did finish. Did you end up uh, putting your son through oud lessons? Oh yeah, he played for a long time with. Um, okay. With uh, he still plays. Nice. He, he didn't, you know, he didn't pursue it. He, he's more of a guitar player. <laughs> okay. He has a band. His band has really taken off. There, there. If if it takes pl place next year, they're playing at La Palusa, and um, you know. Oh. They're called Hoko, H-O-K-O, -O, and they're coming out next month with their EP. They have about five or six pieces out already, and they, they got about four or five million uh, streams, so they're doing all right, you know. But what is the music? Go ahead. The music business just right now is, you know, I mean, <clears throat> uh, Spotify and these places, they don't pay anything. They pay like uh, next to nothing, so. Yeah, yeah. So it's concerts they have to do. Did he come to St. Louis once with his band? Was it the St. Louis, that was a, a, an old, old band. Oh, not the same at it's, all. It's called East of the River. Ah. Uh, no, but there were excellent musicians in that band. All right, yeah. so let's all put our videos on. on uh, show yourselves and let's get up for a less note though with Jason, some live music. And Steve, you wanna start us off on it? Yeah, absolutely. Which one we doing tonight, Jason? Uh, just a, a Croatian song um, to Les Noto um, dance, so. <laughs> it's a Croatian town that serves women. Hey now. <laughs> <laughs> Too much controversy going. Too much controversy going on in the chat room over there. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank, thank you, you so much. Nema na chemu. Anytime. No thanks needed. Mm -hmm. Great. That was wonderful. Let's hear it. Anybody want to make comments for Jason, Steve, Dee, Teresa? Teresa was wonderful. Thank you, Teresa. Hip, hip, hurrah. Oh, great. Yeah. Clap, clap, clap for Jason. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. And there's, going to be an exam, there's going to be an exam next week. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck. Yeah. If, if, if people will stand for a minute, I think Paul wants to make an announcement, but we'll do it in about two more minutes so people can say goodbye and then we'll let Paul make a quick little announcement. Well, but we don't want people to say goodbye before he makes his announcement. Well, <laughs> some, I, I, I don't I want to want people to leave without being able to Good say Good idea, it. Bobby. Let everybody go and then I'll make the announcement. <laughs> no, then there's no, no, then there's no time pressure. All. Then there's no time pressure. We just want people to be able to chat for a second. Okay. All right, let him make an announcement. Go ahead, Paul. You've got no for Okay. Yeah. Coming up, uh, Soon we have live music party on the 12th, all live music with the bands you see, except for Jason's Black Wine Orchestra. There's some, they had some injuries, so uh, they're on the they're on the air, they're on the brochure, but they're not able to play, unfortunately. Uh, next is um, let's do that again. Share coming up on. We have some Peruvian dance workshops on the 19th and the 26th. So in the slot where I usually teach early on Fridays, we'll have Ruben Pachas. He, he will be teaching us a couple of dances that are very uh, easy and accessible to people. You can do them as partners or with as individuals. So two Peruvian dances over these two weeks. And we'll do another share. And this one is the 20th. We have... Uh, a live music, not a live music, a global dance, a late night party. The teacher, the leaders are to be announced, but uh, here's the date, Saturday, Sunday, the 20th, 21st, from 8.30 in the evening until 3 in the morning. Thank you for your time, Bobby. You can find all this information on uh, on virtualdanceroom.net. Thank you. Bob, I'll throw in two right too. also tomorrow, as I said, four weeks uh, uh, Four weeks with the EEFC, I'll be teaching Balkan dancing um, from 8 to 9.30 uh, East Coast time. You'll have to go to the EEFC website um, for information about that. The other thing is the on Saturday from 2 to 4.30 East Coast time is the Folk Arts Center of New England. And it'll be a review with me, Gergana Panova, Rue Lester and uh, Ben Kupman, I think that's his name. Kupman Chap. Sorry, I missed that. Kupman Chap. And that, that'll be a review of the last uh, last month. Anyway. That's going to be real crowded. Yeah. We, yeah, it was. Yeah, you had to dance almost in these little squares. <laughs> uh, yeah, that too. They took the rectangles and made them into squares. <laughs> well, well, we have four of you dancing in, in one session. It's a lot. Yeah. Nancy and Merrick, I want to thank you for last week, too. That was a lot of fun, that couple stuff. Oh, you're welcome. It was fun. Yeah. I, I hope you were all able to see the uh, announcement for this week with the pictures. 
And if and if you yeah, I hope you didn't miss the Chicago St. Louis couple. <laughs> that was cute. Nancy. Don't you can forget. see the picture on the invitation for this week. <laughs> I didn't. What was it? Oh, <laughs> you'll have to look. Oh, and your son. <laughs> your mom. Does it know? I guess I can put it up. By the way, Bob, I will send you music. And I don't know if people need music, please. I mean, either contact me or or Bob. Yeah. I have so much music that I've been throwing at you. And I know probably a lot of them have just uh, disappeared in your con out of your consciousness. But, <laughs> but we have a whole list, Steve. We'll, we'll be sending it to you this week. OK. And I That'd be fun. I'd appreciate the music, Steve, as usual. Oh, Thank you. No problem. Okay. I'm happy to send it to anyone. Yeah. I'm going to call it once. <laughs> so we have Teresa, we have Steve. Does anybody have any poems? <laughs> any what? Poetry? No, I was busy practicing <laughs> dancing this time. <laughs> I, 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 I'm taking a course at the 92nd Street Y, and there's a professor. It's on Rilke's poems, but he said something today that I thought was really cute. He teaches his children, or children, his, he teaches at Bennington College, and he said to his students, he said, abstraction plus abstraction equals zero. <laughs> abstraction and thing or concept or image equals poem. <laughs> There are poem, or, poem or poem. Poem is an oh. apple. Poem. Poem. <laughs> is, is Bennington College in Bennington, Vermont? Or is it? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's, That's where my brother in law lives. Really? It's nice. Well, it's a very, it's a real liberal arts school. Well, Vir Virginia Kincaid, it was in his synagogue when he, he's a rabbi. She used to come to it. And he also had a couple other people that were very interesting. There, Mary, Mary, um, oh, beautiful poet. What's her name? She passed away a couple of years ago. Mary, um, having a senior moment. A whole library of, of poetry books here. And you think I could find her poem? Her books probably not. She wrote a beautiful poem. I have to find it because it's such a beautiful. I'm going to try to get Amanda Gorman to come and join us next week. Right, right. <laughs> I told her we'll give her an audience if she if she, if she needs somebody if, if nobody's listening to her poetry. She's going to the Super Bowl though, right? Yeah. yeah. Oops. <laughs> so that sort of preempts us, I guess. <laughs> I, guess I guess so. <laughs> You want okay, to hear a Sufi? Teresa's got one. <laughs> you want to hear a Sufi poem? Sure. Uh, this is from uh, Mirabai Star, uh, Wild Mercy. She's 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 really good. But this poet, this particular, uh, she's writing about the poetry of emptiness, and this is by a guy named Rabia R A B I A, which I don't exactly know. Oh, he was an eighth century Sufi mystic. He says, I carry a torch in one hand and a bucket of water in the other. With these things, I'm going to set fire to heaven and put out the flames of hell so that voyagers to God can rip the veils and see the real goal. Mm. Kind of like that. <laughs> Emptiness. Mm. Nice. I love Sufi poetry. I have a bunch of Sufi poetry books. I got a famous poem. She's, it's such an amazing, and she taught at Bennington for a long time. I just love her. And I can't think of her last name, so I'm looking through the back. Talk amongst yourselves. Vivian? Yes. Didn't you say you weren't going to be here? You were playing. Uh... On Monday. Oh, oh uh, no, Monday. that was Monday. She couldn't make it. Yeah. Well, but it looks like uh, you're playing right now. 
Yes, I am. Are you going to play us some sax? Can you play a folk dance with your saxophone? My okay. saxophone is, no, I can't. Um, my saxophone is all the way upstairs. But, but, no, but, but do you know any folk dances? No. Okay. I don't. I can't Sorry. No. You should learn our last note now. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what happened. I was I was excited about the idea of playing some folk dances, and I kind of got shot down by a friend. Uh, oh, that's not the way that's played, or that's not the way that that's not what the music looks like. And so I finally gave up and and quit quit trying to play folk dance music. Aww. Uh, I probably I played, could play some blues that we could do a certo to. Oh, I probably could find something. I don't know. Um, I play uh, the preludes for church, but um, I play some Boots Randolph preludes. <laughs> yeah, you know who Boots Randolph is, okay. Um, and uh, there's another one that's called The Majesty of Gospel that has some pretty jazz. I play quite a bit of jazzy type of music for, for preludes. Um, Are you a tenor, alto, or baritone? I, I have a tenor, I have an alto, and I have a soprano, but I... A soprano, wow. <laughs> I prefer my alto all the time. So you play Charlie Parker stuff? No. <laughs> That's Just not kidding. my bailiwick. I'm, I'm, a classic, I'm classically trained where I've got to have the music in front of me. And uh, trying to do that other stuff, it doesn't work very well for me. So... Oh, I found the poem that I was looking for. Uh -huh. This is a spectacular, this is a powerful poem by uh, Mary Oliver. And I don't, many of you have probably heard of Mary Oliver. She, she may have even been the poet laureate, but she's won Pulitzer Prizes for poetry. And she was a professor at Bennington. And one of her, one of her in my opinion, best poems is one called The Journey. It's not too long. One day you finally knew what you had to do and began, though the voices around you kept shouting their bad advice, though the whole house began to tremble and you felt the old tug at your ankles, mend my life, each voice cried, but you didn't stop. You knew what you had to do, though the wind pried with its stiff fingers at the very foundations though their melancholy was terrible. It was already late enough and a wild night and the road full of fallen branches and stones. But little by little, as you left their voices behind, the stars began to burn through the sheets of clouds. And there was a new voice, which you slowly recognized as your own, that kept you company as you strode deeper and deeper into the world, determined to do the only thing you could do, determined to save the only life you could save. Wow. So, so did you go to Bennington? Is that how you know? No, I didn't go to Bennington. I, you just know. You just I, started off, I started school at UCLA in the department and then I, <laughs> For a while, I, I tried to go to school in, in Austria and in Germany, but I wasn't very successful. I mean, I, I actually matriculated, but I didn't do any, I didn't show up. And then I came back and I went to City College and then I finally finished um, my um, undergraduate at, at, uh, at a state university in New York. And then I did a, I did a, the work for a master's at, at a little college that specialized in Waldorf education. I wish I. And I was just wondering because you mentioned a couple poets from from Bennington. Well, Bennington, yeah, Bennington has always been. I mean, has always grabbed on to some. The poet I was working with or participating with today, he's a poet at Bennington. His name is uh, his name is uh, Mark Wunderlich. Mark Wunderlich. <laughs> I really doubt that my brother and sister-in-law know them because it's not a big town. <laughs> actually, he lives. Actually, even though he teaches at Bennington, he lives in uh, he lives in upstate New York. Oh, okay. He lives near. Well, you know that that area that where where Massachusetts and Vermont they all come together at one little point there near the near the um, 
Berkshires. Nice area. Have I told you about my Aunt Alice? No. <laughs> Does she have a restaurant? No, actually, she has passed away. But oh, sorry. That's okay. It's been, she was 90, I don't know, in her 90s when she passed away. But one time I went up to visit her and uh, my husband and my daughter and I, and I walked into her room and she had a quilt on her bed. And, you know, I said, I wish Aunt Alice that I had had uh, one of your quilts. And she said, well, I wish you had one of my quilts too. So after we'd gotten back to Kansas City, why, uh, she sent me a, uh, a piece of material that was, and I kind of told her what kind of colors I liked. And so she sent me this beautiful piece of material. It was a, a red with a pink, with pink figures in it. It was really lovely. And so not, I, I wrote back to her and said, yes, I love that material. A couple months later, I got this huge package and John says, what is it? What is it? What in the world would be that big? And it was a double wide quilt. It, was, it wasn't just queen. It was like a king size and it had enough for a, 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 um, a you put the pillows inside it. I can't remember what that's called a, at any rate. So, all right. Well, one time uh, my dad told me my aunt Alice had gone out to uh, Mexico or not Mexico, New Mexico or or another state out west. And uh, then he told me that she'd gotten back. And so I wrote to her and I says, I hear you've been gallivanting again. And she wrote to me and she told me and, and she, she sent me this poem. When I was little, my slippers were red. I could kick my heels clean over my head. <clears throat> I was older, my slippers were blue. I could dance the whole night through. And now I am old, my slippers are black. I can hardly walk to the corner and back. The reason I know my youth has been spent, my get up and go has got up and went. I can't regret when I think with a grin of all the grand places my getup has been. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> good night, everybody. Good night. Paul, oh, what color are your slippers? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> These are black. <laughs> Mine are striped. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they're striped. <laughs> I guess that, I guess that means my slippers are transitional. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know, Bob. People are get dropping off earlier than usual. Yeah, a little bit. They must be sick of us. No, we're tired from shoveling. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> you didn't. Uh, who's got the most snow? Does Steve have a lot of snow, or? <laughs> We got uh, 22 inches. Woo! I think you win, Steve. <laughs> well, I went golfing today, so. <laughs> <laughs> Snow it was, it was 50 today, and every other day of the week is horrible. But one day we had a little, you know, and we missed the snow. Supposed to be really cold tomorrow. Yeah, it's getting colder. Bob, did you have a, a white golf ball or a, a day glow? Orange golf ball like my yellow. Dad used to play. I used yellow most of the time. Oh, but no, okay. there's no there's no snow here. We didn't get any. Oh, okay. Yeah, just Chicago say, and the East Coast. They you know, missed us. You know, my dad, friend of, my in, dad uh, used to play the U of I golf course and in the in the snow and and he used to have a day glow orange ball so he could find it. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So so, we only have about an inch here, so I think Steve, Steve wins. <laughs> what were you going to say, Rex? Come on, Rex, get, you can't stop. Of, a friend of mine in San Diego had a uh, 
to put put his snowshoes on. He was uh, service. He serviced his snowshoes and, and coated them with something, and put them out upside down to dry overnight. And of course, that attracted the only snow that we'd had like that, that <laughs> decade. And there was uh, they had a snowball fight on the at at the campus at UCSD, and uh, we even had snow on the beach. <laughs> it's rare. It's so maybe rare. I need to get out my ski. <laughs> I was in Jerusalem once when it snowed. Bobby, how often does it snow in Jerusalem? Uh, not every year. It doesn't snow that often, but, but on occasion, it's sometimes it twice snowed. a year. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Well, I've been receiving. They were, we were crazy enough to dance outside for two hours today. Oh, did you really? Yep. So, did, in fact, a little over two hours, almost two and a half. Had it been, sh uh, had it been uh, plowed, the area uh, to dance? The parking lot was plowed where we were dancing. We had to all park a little farther away or almost into the snow area of this big parking lot. But, the was it in the church lot or somewhere else? It's a village hall lot. Oh, the village hall. It's a park, but they have their trash cans and their garage and some other stuff. You know, for anybody who wants to come and park, they can go there. But so they just do the village hall lot, which is you know you got to walk quite a ways to get to it, but because you got to kind of go around. So but anyway, so we did that for two and a half hours with the sun shining and. Not much wind, but so it wasn't too bad. But we were all bundled pretty good. It was 13 in the end, it was 13 or 14 of us that were there, crazy enough to dance outside. What uh, was the name of the lady f on Monday who's who was from Winnipeg and she was Patty. 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 and she was talking about you know 30 below and the, they're out skiing in shorts? So, so since we're talking about skiing, I'm I'm going to show you. Well, let's see. Can I see myself? I shoot. I can't see. I've got to see no. you. Too. Yes, there. Okay, I got it. Right. Uh, can you see? Oh it? no! Was wow. that you? This is my son. So that was the first day he did it. That's crazy. Can you, can you see it? Because for some reason it's not showing me up here. No, yeah. I can we see it. Can see it. He's flipping. It. That's yeah. crazy. That's yeah. wild. Yeah. yeah. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, first day ever doing that. So, cool. Ever skiing? He'd never skied before? No, he, he does snowboard, but he, he does it. You play golf. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, yeah. Bob, did you so get your hair cut? Uh, no. <laughs> Not at oh, all. Oh, it's pulled back? Okay. It is I pulled wonder. back. Yeah, it's, it's, it, it's there. <laughs> It, is, it just needs to be washed so it's got some body. Teresa has another poem, I think, right? Good. <laughs> well, we I have that. two, but <laughs> okay, oh, all right. I gotta go to bed. All right, want, here we go. Do you want the the roomy one? The the roomy one has to do with the panpipes. Uh, you choose. Like Hangul. That's that was panpipes in Hangul, wasn't it, uh, Steve? Yeah. No. No. It, it may have been. Yeah. I think so. Yeah. I'm not totally sure, but it sounded like it was. I'm anyway. lucky. Anyways, this is a sad one about panpipes, but that's okay. <laughs> it's it's roomy. It's called the no. cry of separation. Listen to the reed and the tale it tells, how it sings of separation. Ever since they cut me from the reed bed, my wail has caused men and women to weep. I want a heart that is torn open with longing so that I might share the pain of this love. Whoever has been parted from his source longs to return to that state of union. That was for me. Are you gonna read a second one? <laughs> Do you want a second one? Sure. This one is written by uh, Mirabai Star herself. And it, well, it's about the Sabbath since we're on the Jewish theme. <laughs> okay. Here, come here. Take a moment to set aside that list you've been writing in fluorescent ink. 
the list that converts tasks into emergencies. Items like feed the orchids become, if I don't accomplish this by 11 o'clock a.m. tomorrow morning, the rainforests are going to dry up and it will all be my fault. Or if I fail to renew my automobile insurance, I will probably crash my car and everyone will die. And then she lists another one. Gather your burdens in a basket in your heart. Set them at the feet of the mother. Say, take this, great mama, because I cannot carry all this for another minute. And then crawl up into her broad lap and nestle against her ample bosom and take a nap. When you wake, the basket will still be there, but half its contents will be gone. And the other half will have resumed their ordinary shapes and sizes, no longer masquerading as catastrophic, epic, chronic, and toxic. The mother will, will clear things out and tidy up. She will take your compulsions and transmute them, but only if you freely offer them to her. That's cool. I'm glad it's not That's quite cool. so depressing as the read. I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, a lot of Sufi poetry, I have a great book I love of some Afghani Sufi poetry that's it's called Death Before Dying. I mean, that's a part of the poems, is, is that death while living. All right, you guys, I'll stay alive, and I'll see you next week. I think Pete wants to show us something before we all go, and then we'll end. Do you I have something? Oh, oh, we're going to watch Emily. Oh, where is she? Oh, is she ready? Wait, no, wait, 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 there we go. She will be. Oh, now you're behind the screen. Hopefully now we'll see her jumping. Where is she? Hold it right there. There we go. Now she's jumped. There she is in the snow. Whoa, yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. My black, that. my black lab loved the snow. When a snow would come, she would just be in heaven. She'd roll yes. in it. She'd crawl into it. She'd burrow in it. <laughs> uh, you know, she didn't over with the hot weather. She didn't mind going in the lake, though, you know when it was hot, but in the winter, the first snowfall, she was out there rolling, getting cool. It was like the best thing she had doing. All now, right, I think- Teresa's I think poem, I wanna say something about her poem. Oh, go ahead, go I, ahead. Steve's <laughs> gone already. Hi, driveway. Who's wow. <laughs> Wait, where do you live, Teresa? In Milwaukee. <laughs> oh, that's why. Sure driveway, yeah. 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 No, uh, anyway. It's just a reminder of the fact that read, that think about everything is living. So if we cut it or change it, if it hasn't offered itself to us, we've taken. So it's something, something has to give for something to get. And so anyway. We could, we could get very deep on it. We won't. We'll deal with stuff. You're talking about stuff that throws the personal flaw on food that has melted so much here that I have to Oops, Vivian, your noises. <laughs> it's not me. Well, I know it, it looks like it. But, but it switched to you when she was talking. I know. I know. But uh, mm. a noise okay. going on here. All right. I don't uh, get it. Uh, it. It froze. And I had a little bit of drift and I was. The guy who had usually plowed my lot, because I have it has to be four inches before I call him to plow because I have a gravel lot. And so anyway, I hadn't, but I was thinking I need to, and then we got hit with the next one. And it there was a little drifting, because I didn't have much on my sidewalks. The streets were filled and doing it, so I ended up with big curbside. And I had a nice surprise on Sunday morning. A friend came over drove up with a snowblower and he blew the driveway apron open, which the city had plowed up to about my chest and did that and my whole sidewalks and he says, I'll be back tonight. Well, he oh, never came back that night, but I knew that I was gonna have to do the yard because it blew some of the little bit that it blew the last time. There were a couple places it was like, a foot drift or a foot and a half. 
Well, with the second snowstorm, it also twirled in my backyard and or parking lot. Uh, and it ended up with like three feet of snow. And then one of the